My name is Ramis Bistras, and I'm a CEO of Diorisis Therapeutics. So Diorisis Therapeutics is a gene therapy for glaucoma company. We have developed innovative and pro, uh, compound for proven mechanisms of action. We have confirmed efficacy and safety in several and multiple, actually, animal models, and we assemble an experienced and world-class team. And our vision is to have a single injection of long-lasting treatment for glaucoma, which will normalize this eye pressure and stops blindness. So what is glaucoma? So glaucoma is a leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide. Around 3 million uh, Americans and around 80 million uh, uh, worldwide suffer from glaucoma. And uh, despite uh, several treatment options, including generic drugs and surgeries, still around 120,000 people go blind because of glaucoma in the US. And we do have our simulator, glaucoma goggles, and I would like to ask our chief scientific officer, uh, Dr. John Daniels, to pass a couple of them. You could put on, don't be afraid, you will not get glaucoma, but you will feel what glaucoma patients feel. And try to do simple tasks like shake a hand of your neighbor or try to find a pen So while you're doing that, so uh, our eye, it constantly produces fluid and it's drained through trabecular meshwork. When trabecular meshwork is clogged, the pressure builds in the eye and it affects optic nerve and causes bl blindness. So about 80% of outflow of uh, uh, fluid is through trabecular meshwork. And when these meshworks are clogged, with extracellular material, extracellular matrix material, the pressure increases and that uh, causes irreversible damage to optic nerve. No current treatment addresses successfully the cause of high IOP, the increased trabecular meshwork outflow resistance. And I think we do have a solution for that. Uh, we uh, tested uh, innovative compound, tissue plasminogen activator, which is uh, mo modified, and we found that we could improve outflow facility and decrease IOP with a single injection, and this modulates and uh, reforms extracellular matrix turn turnover. So it's very important, this is gene independent, gene therapy, we are using gene therapy as a delivery mechanism. And we found that it is effective in both, in uh, gene-caused glaucoma as well as glaucoma for other, with other causes. So how does it work? The vector is injected intracamerally into eye, this is the front of the eye, and when it is expressed, you know, it produces TPA, which stimulates another enzyme production, MMPs. And MMPs basically go and degrade extracellular ma matrix. Uh, th this causes the outflow facility to increase and intraocular pressure to re return to the normal. And we patented and extensively published results of these experiments in major scientific publications. So what kind of proof we have? So um, one is um, we, uh, significant, we looked at the mycelium glaucoma mouse model, which is mouse model. Around 3% of a glaucoma is caused by genetic mutation, my, mycelium uh, gene mutation. So we use this mice model and we showed that but while treating to different variants of TPA, you know, outflow facility returns to almost normal. It increases, and that shows our clear that our compound is working. The other, I want to skip this quickly. The other 
model we have used uh, is a, a steroid-induced glaucoma mouse model. Steroids are used to treat inflammation in the eye, but there's a big side effect, they cause glaucoma. So this phenomenon is used for the model, you know. And once we inject our uh, experimental uh, compound and compare the control AAB, you can see once the vector is e expressed in experimental eye, intraocular pressure goes back to normal, while in control, it still stays high. And second very important moment, we, when we sacrifice mice and we look at the outflow facility, we can see that the outflow facility in trabecular mesh uh, comes back to the normal. So we have a proof, measurable intraocular pressure goes down, as well as a actual outflow of the fluid goes back to the normal level. And uh, we are very excited that we uh, have repeated this ex experiment in the large animal model sheep, which has comparable to human eye, as well as uh, uh, comparable IOP levels. Again, uh, we uh, pre-treated both eyes with st steroids, IOP increases, to, and we treated uh, with our Com compound or control AV. Uh, and you, as you can see, once the vector is expressed, and it takes around two weeks to, for the vector to be expressed and TPA produced to uh, therapeutics le levels, the intraocular pressure in the experimental eye goes down and stays at a normal le level for four weeks until the end of experiment while the pressure in control eye continues to be high. Three major takeouts from this. Well, first, we can show that IOP decreases to normal and stays for a long time, for the long length of the experiment, versus the control eye, which stays uh, high. Second, that IOP reduction is around 70%. And if you take standard of care, uh, prostaglandins, you know, they are able to reduce pressure in the eye only around 30%, which is a significant uh, benefit, you know, to, to be able to reduce. And it stays at a normal level, which is very important. And for that, we uh, didn't have any visible anterior or posterior segment inflammation and with clear cornea and fundus in both eyes. So uh, people are asking us, well, you're developing gene therapy in the market, which has uh, generic drugs, and they are relatively cheap and efficient. What is your business case? So we uh, run our commercial flow, and we are targeting with our therapy uh, patients who fail two lines of treatment and usually it's uh, eye drops, and it is known that around 75% of the patients will fail first line of treatment, and another 75% of these patients will fail second line of treatment. And we have around 660,000 patients in the US who failed uh, both lines of treatment. Alternative next steps, it's usually some kind of surgical inter, inter, intervention, and around 150,000 uh, patients uh, undergo um, glaucoma surgery. So we think that we will be treating around 37 to 46,000 patients in a peak year, which will be around 6 to 7% of targeted patient indications, you know. The uh, compound is delivered as intracamular injection, and it is in office procedure. It does not require any sterile environment or operating room, you know. And regarding pricing, we did a preliminary uh, market an analysis, and we think that we could price around 30 to 35,000 per dose. And that's a comparable, uh, it's not 
Luxterna pricing, not in 100 pricing. It's not a rare disease. No. And it is kind of comparable to what a patient cost is for 10 years. Let's say we have a generic prostaglandin that cost is three, three and a half thousand. But if you look at the newer drug with ROC kinase inhibitors, it's around 45,000 per dose. So this is a significant market opportunity. Uh, with a peak sales about 1.6 to 2 billion a year. Uh, we assembled a very strong team, you know, with um, um, around uh, 100 years of experience, co collective experience, and if you uh, have add our consultants and SAB members, you know, we, uh, they collectively participated in around 10 IND five filings around eight to nine clinical trials in gene therapy and ophthalmology, five of them actually specifically ophthalmic gene therapy trials. And we also uh, have experience in commercializing uh, uh, Luxturna in Europe. So what's next for the Doresis? Um, we have uh, confirmed small and large animal proof of concept, we have lead compound, we filed additional patents, and we are developing strategic relationships with CDMOs and CROs. We raised uh, seed ma money, invested ourselves, as well as I'm very glad to, to share that majority of angel investors in our company are ophthalmologists and glaucoma surgeons. They see the need of this therapy. And currently I'm raising, uh, we are raising Series A in the amount of 20 to 25 years, you know, and we will uh, expand our research ca capabilities to manufacture talks and clinical batch, as well as conduct IND-enabling studies yeah, uh, in non-human pri primates. And uh, with that, I want to just uh, reiterate that we are developing first-in-class disease-modifying gene-agnostic therapy to normalize ocular pressure for life. And it's a sizable market of opportunity. We do have confirmed efficacy and safety in multiple uh, animal mo models and assemble experienced world team. So our vision is to have once and done treatment to normalize eye pressure and stop glaucoma-induced blindness. Thank you very much, and I hope that you enjoyed looking through gla glaucoma goggles also. So I would like to open the uh, floor for the questions. Well, if no questions, thank you very much. I appreciate it.